Greetings, Cosmos, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. Life and rock are the same in concept. Alright, so today I'm not going to use a timer, because, uh, well, I'm going to do a dungeon. Whoops! Oh, saddening. Alright, step one is reaching the dungeon. I really enjoyed Zelda, uh, a Link Between Worlds, like, way more than this game. Because it does a lot of what this game does, but, like, better. Like, the way this game is built, it almost seems to encourage you to go partially through dungeons, collecting treasure, and then moving on. And then, uh... A Link Between Worlds is like, yeah, you don't even need to go to the dungeons to get the treasure. Just have treasure. But you need to pay for and collect a lot of cash. A lot of cash. That's what... Good dodging. A lot of cash. Especially if you want to buy that stuff. And you do want to buy that stuff so that you can get it upgraded. Also, the fact that all the treasures can get upgraded. The Light World Dungeon didn't have tre- er, I'm going to just shamelessly discuss spoilers for uh, A Link Between Worlds now. The Hyrule Dungeons didn't even, uh... Come on, brain have treasures, as far as my memory tells me. Um. Yeah, the high rule dungeons didn't even have treasures, so I was caught off guard by the fact that the low rule dungeons did. Like, I hadn't even realized that they did until I was traveling through one and got the treasure, and I was like, wait, there's treasures in these? And then I had to go back through a few to see if I could find treasures that I missed. And boy, howdy, did I find treasures that I missed. Treasures that allowed me to upgrade my sword to level 3. And then later to level 4. Alright. Good job, me. Something about, a uh, oh man, these things are immune to sword beams. But something about having the sword beam at full health makes not having full health feel like I'm in a horribly incomplete state. We are going to break the power, the barrier of Ganon's tower with our power. Cool. Second, I I like how this has statues of the final boss. Oh yeah, spoilers. Here's what the final boss looks like, kind of, not with that coloration. Oh hey, look at that. This is asking you if you remember how you got the. Uh, I am so good at this. So good. It's asking if you remember how you got... Come on, Rain. There was the Book of Madura. I must say, I, I love the puzzles in this game. 
but I think my favorite Zelda game is Four Swords Adventures, just because of the fact that you can play with other players. Like, you could do that in A Link to the Past slash Four Swords for Game Boy Advance, but... Oh hey, these things will shoot when I attack with a sword. How do these react to the bow? The skeletons, I mean. I mean, uh, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, Four Swords Adventures. I liked Four Swords Adventures better because it was, like, not randomized. All the randomized bits of a, a link of the original Four Swords were, uh, fairly well put together for randomized bits. Haha, ha, take that, level design. I have defeated your bizarre traps. Okay, that works, sure. Alright, so... I suspect I will need to do this. Yep, I needed to do that. Haha! -ha. Another key! What the? Uh, okay. What if I do this? Like, anyway, Four Swords Adventures. There was a lot of ridiculousness to it that I just loved. Like, how the sheer number of enemies that you could get on the screen at once, for example, that was amazing. It was kind of saddening that it required so much money to be invested into multiplayer in order to have uh, two or more Game Boy Advances, which were, what, like 70 bucks each. You know, I should pay better attention to where I'm trying to reach. Anyway. Yeah, plus what, 15 to 20 dollars for each of the link cables to link up to the, uh... Come on, brain, to link up the Game Boy Advances to the GameCube. I had already gotten a bunch of that stuff, though, because uh, I wanted to play, uh, what was that Final Fantasy game? Crystal Chronicles, also multiplayer. Oh, hey, this chamber. Ah, oh, yeah. So many things getting frosty. Alright. Okay, gotta head straight-ish down. Alright. So head down a little bit more, line up with this thing. We'll smash for magic. Oh! Oh, sheesh. I'd better smash this thing for some magic. And then head this way. Okay, so head up a bit, head over this way. Okay. So... Hoping for the best. Money? Why would you do this to me, game?
Alright, anti-fairies, huh? Take that, anti-fairy. Gee, with all these cracked floors, and all these free... Great attention paying there, and all these free bombs I'm getting, I have no clue what I am meant to do here. There we go. Okay, this is something that's always perplexed me. Like, I hadn't realized that these were meant to be Ganon's minions. I thought they were meant to be a test of the hero, and then here they are being Ganon minions. Do these silver arrows do extra damage? Ow. Okay, so. I feel like the silver arrows actually do more damage than the plain arrows. Okay, so. Sweet, the big key. Ten arrows. Explosives. Heck yeah. I like, though, that these boss refights have the same health, but a new gimmick. Oh, hey, heavily cracked. Well, I don't have to change my equipment. Yes. Oh, hey. I'm gonna keep my magic medicine against my uh, intestines demand that I fill up on fairies. Good job, me. Alright. The red male, this provides even better protection than the blue male. And gives Link a purple hat. Okay, wait, I think if I go upward, I'll get locked into whatever's up there. Oh, hey, look at this place. So I'm going to head over this... Oh, I cannot go that way. Let's see... I actually question, do I even need anything else on this floor? I think the big key was the last thing I needed. I, I don't really need the compass, it is the least exciting item. Let's see here. I could go down here to get over somewhere that I couldn't get before. Oh, except for the key. Yay, bombs. I think that switch is a trap. Oh, hey, another left switch being the correct answer. So Turtle Rock just represents the transition from the right switch to the left switch being the correct answer. Oh, hey. This room is terrible. Oh, no. Okay. That room knows exactly how I like to handle those blocks. Or sheesh. What are they? Not blocks. The flying tile things. And counters it directly in three ways. I remember this dungeon being really hard when I was a kid, and now I'm remembering why I thought that. It, like, it knows how I like to play, and says, hey, that thing you like to do? Yeah, forget that. You're playing our way now. Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to use that key. Oh, hey, what's in here? Yes, magic. 
Oh, hey. I need to get to the bottom with stuff. Nope, not falling for that one. Okay, so opening my map, if I go left from here, it's not a one-way place, but... Okay, so what I'm going to do is... Yeah, okay, so if I head upward, I don't trust that. So, light that up. I'm doing this in the most inefficient way. I should have been using magic shoes. No! If I had gotten that one on the right on my first try. Okay, okay. Okay, so... Aha! And my reward is Gibdos. Hey, hey. What if that is the solution? Instead of trying to precisely time bombs. Oh no! I went and got the compass, and it was a terrible idea. Okay, what's a, what's this place? Okay, so I'm gonna step on this, and it changes the layout. Step on this, changes the layout. Oh, good, another key. which I need to escape this room. And what even is- ah! This looks like the kind of thing that's going to collapse just to my suspicious intuition. Yep. Alright, and Wow. Hmm. This is an interesting puzzle. Oh, I know what to do. Yeah, first off. I just need to... Good job, me. What am I even doing? Listen, I just need... <sighs> oh, hey. And here I see I'm doing a complicated thing where I uh, push this up like this in order to line it up, but no, no, no. Like, I was thinking of the solution to a puzzle in a an entirely different game. I can't even latch onto that. Where by passing over this, I will uh, gain its power. Come on. All right, and that brings me back to here. Hmm. There's enough of these that I'm sure to get some magic back from smashing these, right? Really? Well, whatever. I'm going over this way now. And then I shall go this way. And then I shall ascend the tower. Yes.
Ooh, goody. Excellent. Not excellent. Really? All right, so. Oh, I guess I need, do need to destroy that one enemy. Whoops. There we go. Oh, I guess I just need to push a block. Uh, this one. Okay. Hmm, interesting. By pushing that... Wait, was there something about... No, that was just my shield. It worked. Sheesh. What am I doing? Okay, so... Come on. Yeah, there are things in this game that, uh... That don't do reduced damage even when you have the, uh... Sheesh. Even when you have... Improved armor. Sheesh. Okay, and this is the check to make sure that you have the big key. Oh, hey, okay. I need to go down there and wreck some stuff. Really? <laughs> I'll get this one of these days. Good job, me. So... Excellent. Okay, that doesn't require constant pressure. Good. And now, I'll just head down here. Also good. Oh, hey. This reads like the kind of place where... Ooh! This is a weird one. I'm gonna head upstairs real quick. And then back downstairs. This is a weird puzzle, that's... Come on. I couldn't figure out how to get across this my first time playing through, but you do that! Isn't that just weird? And you gotta position yourself exactly in the right position so that you don't fall off while still having room to run with the Pegasus shoes. And the Pegasus shoes have a secret attribute where they let you jump across things that you wouldn't think you could jump across. Because, you know, there's no jump mechanic in this game except when you get knocked back by the Pegasus shoes. Also, I hear that bombs let you do something. You know, I mentioned earlier that I thought that some enemies were exclusive, or most enemies were exclusive to the world you initially found them in. Skeletons are a huge exception to this. 
Skeletons just exist wherever they please. Alright. Sheesh. This, I keep thinking this area is a complicated one, but it's not complicated, it just does a bunch of stuff that, a bunch of weird stuff that's never done before. Alright, get out of here. Okay. Poof. Health, magic. Alright. Take that chasing star thing. Oh, hey, look at this. The rematch with giant worm monsters. Except they have, like, practically no health anymore. I'm just being prideful with my charged sword attack. Oh. Huh, that was a quick jump. Okay. Interesting that the death of the worms prevents more rocks from showing up, but that thing can print and shoot fireballs just fine. Also interesting that I'm locked into continuing my ascent. Oh hey, undead wizards. Oh hey, I hadn't realized I was supposed to kill them all. I just wanted to know where the path was. Oh hey. You know how you get here? Doing this. Hey, undead wizards. Look what I can do! And continuing... Oh, hey! Look what I can do! The Pegasus shoes are awesome and I love them. Alright, so... Oh, nice. Okay, so... Yeah, hopefully that'll remain low. Oh, I'm getting distracted by... Oh, that one at least had some magic under it. There we go. Okay. I do not like this room. Look at that. At least it gives you plenty of time once you figure out what you're doing. Arg. Little jerks get... Oh, hey! One of them had a key. It's weird not seeing Dodongo in this game. Like, it's such a staple of the series. There we go. Invisibility cape. The best of all items. Whoops! Oh, 
I suppose I didn't technically need that, uh, key, but whatever. If it means skipping a harder key later, I'm taking it. Also, get over here, anti-fairy. Okay. Oh, hey, look at that. Sweet revenge. You can kill this in two hits. Now, where do I go from here? Oh, hey. There's a treasure chest. Yay, cash. Oh, this is such a weird pseudo-puzzle. I love it. Nope, just moving on. Sheesh. Ha, huh, I don't need to kill these guys, but it sure would help. And now I ascend some more. Hold on, I'm running low on battery power. I'll pause the recording and be back to finish this up. Alright, I return. Oh, oh, whoops. I accidentally hit the help button. Okay. Hmm. My controller is refusing to respond. Hold on a second. Come on. Okay. <laughs> it's great that you could come all the way here. I'm very happy to see you again, but you'd better believe that we will not have a third meeting. Prepare to meet your doom. If I were better at this, I could potentially get three hits in. Good job, me. He didn't use lightning this time. Oh, hey, look, it's the actual villain turning into a bat. And then Link does something crazy that. Well, crazy is not a good word to use. Link does something bizarre that you cannot do on your own. Calling the... what is that, a duck? A seagull? Not only in a dungeon, but in the dark world. The ending is like 20 minutes long, and I hate the final boss. Let's do this thing. I never imagined a boy like you could give me so much trouble. It's unbelievable that you defeated my alter ego, Agonium the Dark Wizard, twice. But I will never give you the Triforce. I will destroy you and make my wish to conquer both light and dark worlds come true without delay. I can't remember if I hate this fight itself, or if my hatred toward it is based on the fight in Enter the Gungeon. Like this. This I do not like. I am bad at handling this. Especially when it comes to entering the Gungeon, when I have a dodge move that lets me dodge it. But I only have, ah, three hearts to deal with it with. Wow. What, two at once? Not fair. 
Okay, so... Then. Oh, hey, that attack, which I also... Hey, not fair stunning me like that, you jerk. <sighs> you are doing well, lad, but can you break through the secret technique of darkness? On guard! Fairies, they're my best friend in a world I must defend. Sheesh, pay more attention to me. Alright. Good job, man. Okay. Ugh. It's such a predictable attack pattern, and I keep falling for it. Because of how quickly he teleports. I have one fairy left. Ugh. Really? Nope, do not fall in. Oh, I'm so glad that he's only immune to uh, being hit with the sword and not with the bow while he's a... Uh... Okay. My hatred of this boss fight comes from the sheer amount of damage his attacks do, I guess? I have won. Whew. I think the end sequence for this game is way too long. Welcome, Alex. I am the Essence of the Triforce. Greetings, Essence of the Triforce. The Triforce will grant the wishes in the heart and mind of the person who touches it. If a person with a good heart touches it, it will make his good wishes come true. If an evil hearted person touches it, it grants his evil wishes. So if a good hearted person touches it, his evil wishes don't come true. And if an evil hearted person touches it, his good wishes don't come true. That's what I'm hearing. Interesting. The stronger the wish, the more powerful the Triforce's expression of that wish. So the more you desire a thing, the more powerfully the Triforce grants it. Ganon's wish was to conquer the world. That wish changed the Golden Land to the Dark World. Neat! Ganon was building up his power here so he could conquer the Light World and make his wish come completely true. But now you have totally destroyed Ganon. His dark world will vanish. The Triforce is waiting for a new owner. Its golden power is in your hands. Now, touch it with a wish in your heart. Okay, I wish for a shorter ending sequence. All in all, the return of the king, Hyrule Castle. All in all, this was a really fun game, but there were some really bad bosses. And I guess it was mostly bosses. The loyal sage. Oh hey, that sage isn't dead. Apparently. So what happened? 
What? So hospital has homecoming. Yay. Vultures rule the desert. Okay. I'm glad that the vultures got something out of this, I guess. Oh, hey. There's that guy who used to be a thief and I guess is practicing again. The bully makes a friend. I don't think that's a good thing. I mean, look at that guy fleeing for his life. Your uncle recovers. I was sure he died too. Also, I kind of forgot about him. Flippers for sale. So, in other words, at Zora's Waterfall, nothing has changed. Neat. <laughs> that look that the Zora leader makes. The witch and assistant. Magic shop. They exist. Isn't that neat? This is... A lot of things on the NES or SNES, I just cannot read properly. Well, see. The Twin Lumberjacks. Like, I had no clue what happened to them. I just assumed that they went somewhere beyond where I could reach. Flute Boy plays again. Oh, look, and there's the grandfather. Yeah, that whole Flute Boy area confused me. Venus, Queen of the Fairies, exists. Isn't that nice? The Dwarven Swordsmiths. They exist. I'm glad they are reunited, but I reunited them personally. This wasn't a thing that occurred as a result of me with the bug catching kid. So, I, I love how we come back to Kakariko Village exterior twice also I'm glad that the bug catching kid recovered and I guess Link returned the net which was super useful by the way the lost old man you know I never thought to question well this playthrough my first playthrough I spent so much time wondering what those glowing things were also old man how'd you get up here did I return the mirror Forest thief. Oh, I forgot to spray. Oh, I think I did get one of those with magic powder in order to demonstrate that people had lied to me. And the Master Sword sleeps again forever. So anyway, yeah, this was a game that I enjoyed, but, you know, imperfect. It has its flaws. Where the Zelda series goes through here, or goes from here, it goes to some amazing places. And also some kind of mediocre places. What else do I say about this game? Like, I enjoyed the progression system and how the plot was uh, largely given to you in chunks at the end of dungeons. And so when the plot happened outside a dungeon, you knew some it was something to pay attention to. And uh, for the most part, Moving from play to the next dungeon was not based on uh, completing previous dungeons. It was based on having the proper equipment. Now, your first time through, unless you're looking at an external guide, you're not going to know where other dungeons are after or until you complete, for example, in the Dark World, the Palace of Darkness. You're not going to know where other Dark World dungeons are located until you complete that. But if you're willing to go exploring once you get the hammer, and or you've played previously, you can just go on to other dungeons and collect stuff. The way I normally play things is, you know, 
pick up the hammer, use that to get the hook shot, use that to get more stuff, etc., etc., until I've gone to all the dungeons and gotten their items, and then collected all the stray pieces of heart I can, and then I beat dungeons, I believe it's 5 and 6, that unlock the super bomb, and get my maxed out sword, and then go back and beat the dungeons in order. I consciously avoided doing that this time, and wow, what a different experience that was. I mean, the first time I played, I beat the Palace of Darkness, and then, with knowledge of where the rest of the dungeons were, went and got stuff, and moved on with the stuff that I had. Mostly because the Palace of Darkness had convinced me that the Dark World bosses were going to destroy me, and so I wanted to be as prepared as I could. Although I think I did clear Dungeon 3 before... Like, I think I did clear Dungeon 3 the first time I went to it, after getting the Fire Rod, but I went to Dungeon 4 first because I found my way to it first. And I went to Dungeon 5 after... Okay, my deaths. East Palace three times. Holy cow. Desert Palace once. Mountain Tower twice. Dark Palace twice. Swamp Palace twice. Skull Woods twice. Thieves Town once. Icy Palace twice. Misery Mire once. Turtle Rock once. Ganon's Tower once. Wow, I died a lot in this playthrough. I... I... Even on the English version, the first time I played this, I didn't understand the whole total games played and games thing. I thought I was telling you how many games the various dungeons were in. And so the first time I played through, I was like, oh wow, Turtle Rock is in like eight different games. That's neat. I didn't understand that this was how many times I died in a dungeon. So, I have died 18 times. Not quite the zero 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 that I was hoping for. Join me next time. I'm going to try and play a Zelda fan game. If I can figure out how to make it work. If not, I'll be playing something else. I'm not sure what. But join me then.